So here we are at Seldom Seen Valley. People waiting for the train to take them in. That's the tipple. All overgrown. Now I know why I never wanted to be a miner. <laughs> <laughs> And there I'll explain how the coal was mined, shot, and loaded back in the old days when the miners had to use all hand tools to produce coal, and brought up right before modern mining commenced. But after I explain it, that's when I'll put the ladies to work. Did you sharpen the picks? Oh, yeah. Last sure. last. Yo, they come out with that orange motor there. It's electric. It gets the power off of that wire above it. And that speeded up getting the cars in and out a lot faster. But early days, we used wooden cars. You'll see three of them sitting over there by them pine trees when we're going to pass. Then in the early 50s, that pulls the air in the same way as we're going in. Then it works its way through the rooms where the crews work. And on its return, the old air comes out through the fan. But early days, we didn't have a fan. All we had was a little hole up through the ground. And that worked like a chimney on a good hot stuffy day like today is out here. You would have stood a lot of places in the mines and sweated from lack of air in there. And that's the reason they used to take canaries in. Hang it up in its cage at the furthest working point. When you see them wobbling like that, you better get the heck out of there. You was completely out of air. You're allowed to take pictures, but we're not allowed to smoke, so... After chew. <laughs> Take your snuff. Okay. Get your snuff. That's a fat piece of number two because it's been yours. I had three different types of coal mines. This is called a drift type here. And this one, they were mining the coal as you started underground out there. Along the hillsides is where the coal cropped out. Other areas, you either got to put a slope in or a shaft in until you get to see the coal. But early days, this was about the only type used. It was a lot easier to get the cars in and out of the mines. In the head in this left side here was called the clearance side. It had to be kept clean and no power permitted over here. If you'd have been walking in or out, you stayed on this side of the track. This little opening here is called a manhole. These are mined in along the headings every 45 feet apart for safety. Because if you'd have been walking in or out and there was a trip of coal cars coming, that's where you stepped into till they went up past you. Because if you'd have been out here and those cars would have jumped the track, do you know what would have happened to you? 
you'd have got squashed right up against the coal. And for height in the headings, we had to have five feet of clearance. So to get that height, we took a couple feet of rock. From here down, that's your coal seam. But in the headings is the only place you took any roof. The rest of the mines here was worked out in that height. But if you think that's slow to work in, you ought to be in the east seam of coal working. At the best, it was only 28 inches high that they worked in. Well, at least in that scene, the miner's got a chance to lay down on his job <laughs> because he had to lay all day on his side, whether it was wet or dry, and do his work from his side. And for roof support in here, they used rails where earlier days you'd have seen all heavy hardwood timber support in that roof. Come in so your tour is over with. If you want out, it'll cost you double. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard so many jokes on television, so I figured I might as well make them one up here, too. <laughs> well, that's the way I make my money for bringing you people in. <laughs> How long ago does mine stop working? Around 62. Okay. No, you had doors like that all through the mines. That's the way you control your air in the mines. Early days, when they had the mules hauling the cars out, they used to have little boys sitting at them doors. They called them a trapper. He'd hear the trip coming, and he'd open and close the door for you wouldn't have to slow the mule down. And an old guy told me when he was eight years old, he spent 12 hours a day opening and closing the door like that. And do you know what he got paid for that 12-hour day? A quarter. Mm -hmm. So if any of these kids wants a job, it's only seven hours a day, and I'll give them a better price. I'll give them 35 cents a day. <laughs> <laughs> I came out of the Army in 1946. My dad took me in as a buddy in Beaverdale.